today we're walking the Cripple Pass or Cripel Pass. I'll um, put a description to what it means in the box below. I think it used to be like Cripel, something to do with twisty or windy, but I can't quite remember. It's certainly twisty and windy, and as you can tell by my breath, it's actually very steep. And I've got to go up there yet. I've got my little horror with me. And uh, yeah, so up we go. Come on then, Peter. All 2.7 kilograms of him can help pull me up the hill. And you'll be in for a treat in a few minutes. I think I need to get some kind of, I don't know, iPhone holder to hold my phone when I'm walking. It's quite hard on the hand to hold it. Right, but there you go, look at that. Isn't that magnificent? And obviously at one stage there used to be two seats here. And there used to be amazing views as well, but they're mostly covered over by the trees now. You can see the sea through there, not so easily. So, we're going to continue and we're going to head on up those steps. But I'm going to put my phone away to do that. They're actually quite steep. day yesterday we all was still and beautiful blue sunny sky the winds have returned today is January the 20th 2024 when I'm doing this walk although this video will be published at a later date so yeah and now we're up in the fields Yeah, we have some sheep, so it'll be interesting to see Peter's reaction to those. I'm not sure if this fence is electrified, so I'm trying to keep him well away from it. He's in full on poly mode. So, yeah. Oh, he started, so I'm going to have to put my phone away because I can't have him barking at the sheep. Down 
some steps that will lead us eventually back home. And I managed to calm Peter down, so that was good. She did quite well. Considering he's never seen sheep before. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little wander with us. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you at the next wanderings. Ta-ta for now.